Hi, Carly Paws. Hi, everybody. Cool. Hi, Becky. Love you, too. Sister. Hi. Cool. Come. Yeah. Good boy. Here. Yeah. The filter's so cool. It looks like glitter eyeshadow. I know. It's so cool. I love it. It has like little floating orbs all around too. It's pretty cool. How's everybody doing? Today's been crazy. We've been at the hospital all day. Just not for me, so that's a change. But the whole family's been at the hospital all day long. My grandma had a pretty major surgery today. So there's been a lot of tears and praying and emotions running high. But like I got up at 4.30 a.m. to be there before she went in and then we were there the entire time she was in surgery. She just got out of surgery not too long ago and they're not going to let anybody see her for a few hours. She has to be like completely stable and prepared and all that to <clears throat> to be able to have visitors again. So I came home for a little bit. Um, I was going to stay there, but Colt alerted. And since I wasn't able to really do anything anyway, and we already got the news that she's out and doing good, I came home for a bit. Lots of strength to all of you. Thank you so much. It was hard today, but we're doing better now that we know that everything's good. Those probably should be lens flares. I'm not sure what that means. Mad and moody. Um, I'm not sure what that means. It is a filter, though. And for everybody who wants to see Colt, here he is. <laughs> As you can tell, he's tired. <laughs> his eyes are <laughs> rolling back in his head. Are you tired? Huh? Everybody loves you. Hmm. <sighs> Everybody say hi, Colt. <laughs> Look at that nose. It's a cute nose. <sighs> Gosh, I am so tired. I even changed into like my pajamas. It's literally just like a giant shirt. I don't, I don't go spend money on like actual pajamas. It's more like a sensory thing. I have a hard time sleeping in anything besides like a giant shirt. 
Like, it's like a 5X or something. <laughs> like, it's like a huge dress on me all the way down to my knees. But I even changed into that when I got home because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. And uh, being in the hospital <laughs> when it's not for you, I mean, not that it's not stressful when you're in there, but it's more stressful, especially when you're trying to, like, support family and comfort them and you know, emotions run high and praying and, and then there's not like, you're either sitting or standing. And so exhaustion factor is real for sure. I'm not able to just sit, uh, you know, sit or lay down in a hospital bed. I'm actually on my feet or in an uncomfortable chair or something. So But how are you guys doing? Do you have any questions about anything? How is Colt dealing with all of it? Sounds stressful for all of you. You know, Colt's great. He slept the whole time. I did allow him to say hi to everybody in my family just because it's a super emotional time and we were all kind of clustered together in our own area and uh, he said hi and goodbye to grandma before she went into surgery because everybody had their chance to say goodbye to her because um, it was like a high a high risk surgery so it was pretty scary. There was like lots of lots of crying going on. So I'm really glad that she's okay. Um, but yeah, Cole got to say goodbye to her. And it was really funny because last night I just talked to Grandma since she was going to be like at the hospital like I think 3 a.m., 3, 4 a.m., something like that um, to prepare for her surgery because it was really early this morning. But she had to be there even earlier. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I called her last night just to talk with her and pray with her before um, this morning. And she actually, you know, talked about how Colt never licks her. Like, Colt, he's trained not to lick, but he's he's never really licked much to begin with. It's not that he doesn't love you. He's just not like one of those dogs that, like, slobber all over you. And he actually kissed her today. So that was surprising because she just talked about it last night. And uh, my uncle was all like, I don't think you're allowed to go back there with the dog. And I was like, I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> I was like, I've been back there many, many times, even as the patient myself with the dog in pre-op. This is in pre-op. Um, so I went back there and um, let grandma say goodbye to Colt and Colt kind of comfort her a little bit and he licked her right on the chin it was really cute she was like hugging his head uh through the bed I asked that I asked the nurse first or the guy I'm not sure I think he was a nurse pushing pushing her um gurney to the host the surgery room on our final goodbyes and I asked him I said is it okay if she pets the dog and he was like oh yeah and I was like okay just because my uncle was being a little strange about it but he didn't eat breakfast this morning on purpose just so that he wasn't around her with raw breath or anything right before surgery which they take so many precautions anyway it's not that big of a deal but um yeah, it was really cute. He just gave her a kiss right on the chin. I got it on video. Because um, I've been trying to vlog. Like, actually vlog me and the dog lately. I don't know if you guys have seen those. But I've been trying to do that lately. And so I kind of tried to vlog some of it. And I got it on video, which is really cute. And she even... Yeah, she even says in the video, she's like, he licked me. And then I was like, it was a good luck kiss. 
Um, but yeah, it was super sweet, and I'm so glad that she's okay, because everybody was really worried. I was, I wasn't as worried, just because, like, I, I sort of know more of the medical world, I feel like, than they do. Like, I've been exposed to it more, and I don't, I don't really get panicked about stuff like that as much anymore. Like, there's fear, but it's not like, it's not like somebody who doesn't really deal with it all the time. Can I see Lucky's picture if you still have it up? Yeah. Collie Paws asked. Ooh, let's see if I can change the camera real quick. There's Lucky. Isn't Lucky so cute? That's Collie Paws' dog. These are Colt's trick ribbons and certificates. And some of the letters and fan mail that I get that I can put on the wall. Pictures of other service dog handlers and their service dogs, drawings. Here's another one from Collie Paws, I think. Yeah, trick or treat. Um, some other stuff. And this is just a map of service dog handlers in different states that I, I didn't really finish the project that I had planned. Oh, Madam Moody, I understand what you're saying now. You both are so amazing. That is so sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, dogs are so super sensitive with these things. Why have you trained him not to lick out of curiosity? Oh, sorry, I didn't explain that further. Um, as a service dog, especially a service dog that eats raw, even though he has like a specific designated downtime for when he, um, for when, you know, after he eats, uh, just keeps the spread of germs and bacteria, plus a service dog shouldn't be like, licking all over people and stuff anyway. I mean, like, when he's off duty and stuff, he can normally do what he wants, do what he wants, but, um, he's still trained to be calm and not jump on people and stuff, whether he's, you know, on or off duty. And he also, uh, doesn't lick much naturally, but, um, just as training, he's, you know, he's not a pet, we still love him and he's allowed to enjoy himself, but he can't just like drool and lick all over people. So it's been something that's just been kind of taught to him from an early age. Lucky has a place on the special wall. Yes, Lucky does. And no problem. Gotta go feed Lucky. I'll talk later. Okay, have fun. Anybody have any questions? Keep me occupied. Till I have to go to... Um, hopefully visit Grandma soon. How's everybody's day going? 
Any special news? Any questions? Anything? I think I have makeup on my. Does anybody like these? LaCroix? They're like seriously amazing. My grandma's doing good. Thank you for asking. I um I just went on a whole chat about that. Um she got out of surgery a while not too long ago and she you can't see her for a while. Uh so I needed to come home so I've been home for a little bit and um waiting to get updated from the family and be able to go back and see her but they said the surgery went well and hopefully everything holds how did you get insurance approval for your wheelchair um Sorry, an alarm went off on my phone. Um, it was super easy because I needed a wheelchair. So basically, you, if your doctor says you need a wheelchair and prescribes it to you, then your insurance covers it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm having like major shaky issues right now. My cat is yelling at me to let him into the bathroom. You guys want to see how my cat is toilet trained? Hi, kitty. Go ahead. Yep. I know it's very strange. He's taking his time. He's nervous. He gets stage fright. <laughs> he is peeing. Do you guys think I'm weird? That I taught my cats to go in the toilet? all sorts of things on here sorry hi from Birmingham Birmingham UK I hope I said that right I probably didn't I'm sorry but hello happy you're here prayers heading towards your way oh thank you so much Ernie Lacount I probably said that wrong too. I'm very sorry. Reading's hard. How are you feeling today? I'm good. I'm pretty exhausted. Um, waking up that early was crazy, crazy. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And then you said you very, very weird. Or yes, very weird. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no way. Did you train him right on the toilet or with some other help first? Oh, for the cats. Um, yeah, I, I trained them on, on the toilet. Basically, I started by putting their litter box in the bathroom since it wasn't already in there then after that I put it on top of the toilet like with the lid closed just so they got used to going in that location it actually didn't take that long for them I know some cats it takes a while but for my two cats um, kitty was the harder one panther his it's just easier sometimes to say kitty because when Garrett first got him um, he was a cat that he found so it was a cat that we didn't want to name because we were gonna put up signs for him and he was so like so sweet and so amazing that we knew like 
that we weren't going to have him for very long because his owner was going to claim him. But nobody claimed him, so he became our cat. So we just say kitty very easily now because we didn't want to give him a name and get attached to him in the beginning. But we've had him for years, and it's just stuck in our brain. Um, but Panther, who's part Maine Coon, he... Um, he was the harder one just because he was kind of set in his ways. But ever since Nova was a baby, like when she started getting, I would say almost full grown is when she started using the toilet. So the after the litter box sitting on the top with the, lid, with the toilet lid closed, I started with a, just a makeshift thing that I made that I cut the hole bigger and bigger um, where the toilet seat is every certain amount of time and had litter sprinkled on the thing that I was cutting. It's hard to explain. I'm really bad at training advice, like really bad. That's why when people ask me how... I train Colt this or how I train Colt that or giving uh, to do training videos or giving advice. I never do well with that. It's horrible. Like I already have a hard time getting my thoughts straightened out. <laughs> but when I have to like explain my thoughts, like what's in my head to someone else, it's really hard. So I never make, I never make sense. Pretty smart to be honest. You're sweet. I love your account. Aw, thank you. Sorry, I'm really high right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Those cats are big. Oh, Maine Coons. Yeah, he's he's part Maine Coon. He's giant though. Like he acts like he's a full Maine Coon, but he's part Maine Coon. Um, yeah. And then we have Nova, who's the Balinese. She's a long hair Siamese. I'm sorry you had that experience. Yeah, it sure sounds like it wasn't a service dog. Not even a service dog in training, because they don't. They're not in public until they're absolutely well behaved, even if they're in training. It really sucks when people do that. Hi from Mexico. Hola. The, the one who gives Colt massages, LOL. You were right, Sarah. That is the cat. Nova was the size of Colt's paw. If you look back in our posts you'll see when we got Nova she was so small that she was like the size of Colt's paw which Colt is pretty big but she's all she was also a very small baby you know she was very young and so they were she was raised with him and is just in love with Colt like sometimes won't leave him alone like I have to tell her to leave him alone because he's too nice and won't say anything Sometimes I wish he would just be like, back off. I don't know. Have you seen that scene on um, Storks, the movie Storks? If you, if you know what I'm talking about, like totally tell me because am I the only one that keeps like movie quotes in my head all the time? She's all like, back off. <laughs> or was it him? Yeah, it was him. It was hilarious. Anywho. Um, yeah, I wish he would just tell her to leave, leave him alone because he's like so nice. He'll just, he'll walk around the house with her following him and, and try to lay down and then he'll lay down and then she'll bother him, like massage him or rub against his face or something. And he's like, I don't want it right now. I just want a nap. So he'll get up and go to move and she'll follow him rubbing along his legs the whole way. And jumping up and rubbing the top of her head on his chin. And I just, I have to be like, Nova. So I'm like, there's times during the live, there's times during video recording that I have to yell at that cat because she is so needy. 
and she doesn't like me. It's not that she like doesn't like she hates me or anything. She's just I am not a cat person, obviously. I've never had any good experiences with cats. I love seeing your story when they're together. They're so cute. They are. They are, but she gets on his nerves. But she definitely gets on his nerves sometimes. And he just won't tell her to back off. <laughs> that is that's ridiculous that's not a service dog task obviously the person's not even there <laughs> I'm gonna go let the cat out It's a good kitty. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna have to answer the door. Oh my god, gosh, guys, I can't even talk. Okay, so <laughs> so Colt was barking in the end of the last vlog live, and Colt like never barks when people come to the door. Like he'll probably bark one time. And he was trying to give it away, but I was supposed to have <laughs> a surprise. Um, gift from my edible friend Chris. Yeah, she said it was edible. Well, you just said edible. Yeah, like an edible thing. Yeah, an edible. And she said it has to be there at this time. You have to be there to sign for it <laughs> and everything. And so I happened to have to come home from the hospital anyway. And so um, the knock on the door happened and I was like, uh, gotta go guys. And then Colt's all barking and I'm like, what's wrong with you? And then I opened the door and it's my best friend. Yeah. She came all the way from Michigan to surprise me. Like completely surprised me. I was crying. That's how best friends do things, man. Dude, I was crying. Yeah, she really was. Seriously. And Colt was barking like he knew. I don't know how he knew, but he I did. Had, it was like literally a group hug. I had her and I had him on me. Yeah. And it was just like, all right. He was hugging her too. It was so sweet. So cute. But yes, you're a really good friend. I'm so glad that you're here. I think we started the story a little bit earlier before everybody got back. But you guys Hey, can, Becky. You guys can go, hi. <laughs> Becky's here too. I love you. <laughs> Colt heard the name Becky. <laughs> Did you hear the oh. name Becky? Oh my goodness! And I just talked about how he's trained not to jump. <laughs> nice going, well, Colt. Yeah. Nice going. Not with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not with the people who make him show his true crazy colors. Oh, you are heavy. On I know. Arm. He's almost <laughs> as tall as you. <laughs> oh gosh. Stunts. It's like he. Stunts, stunts, it's like he magically oh, okay. developed these talents now. He just hasn't seen you in how long? How long has, has uh, it been? December. December. Oh, what I is it? Slime. What is it now? April? Oh, shit. April. March, April. Yeah. April. April. So, April 17th. Something like that. <laughs> oh, he's getting too excited. Yes, he gets really excited. Especially when he sees you <laughs> and yeah. sees Chris. Both of you people. Same I saw watching of your videos. Sorry, I don't. I don't, I don't understand. Hmm. <sighs> but you guys are awesome. I'm glad that you were here for that excitement. I can't believe that I'm also uncovered. it happens. It. She, it's funny too, cause she got the notification that I was live when she was driving. Mm -hmm. I was on the way here. <laughs> That's crazy. So that worked out. So now we both have recordings of that. It's a big, yeah. but I'm going to go. We're going to go. Yeah, your cat's stealing my keys. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Got to rescue my keys from a cat. <laughs> oh, my cats are crazy. No.